Hey g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in this video, we're gonna be doing an overview of the brains of the operation that's going to be part of our upcoming mini series in an already existing series of the D-Max buildup of the 12 volt setup for the truck. Let's get started. That buildup is going to be an all-in-one effectively where you're gonna have full lithium setup, air compressors, solar input, the whole box and dice. But the unit that is gonna be holding it all together and the brains of the operation is going to be a Red Arc in-vehicle battery charger and we've gone with the BCDC 1240D. And today, we're gonna to be doing a quick overview of what you get with the unit. Red Arc are a fantastic Australian company and they're based in Adelaide, big manufacturing facility down there as well and they make these in-house, which is which is pretty cool. These particular chargers are designed to sort of be that all-in-one solution if you're running a dual battery system in your four-wheel drive or caravan or any other application. And they do come in a few different flavors. We've gone with the 40 amp, but you can get 25 amps and right up to a 50 amp charger as well. And they come with multiple charge profiles that are suitable for all sorts of different batteries. That's one of the best things about it is it'll work with your AGMs, your your standard lesser uh, lead acid batteries even calciums and more importantly like we'll be running with all the kit just over there the lithium battery charge profiles the thing will work with 12 and 24 volts you've got variable voltage for the vehicles with the smart alternators just like the D Max has as well and it does have something called green power priority which is pretty cool because it's the solar charge component. It does have a full MPPT solar regulator that is built into the unit, which is awesome. You don't need to run anything separate. This will do the whole lot for you. And what that means is that it will prioritize any sort of green input. So if you've got your solar blanket or what have you plugged in, which is gonna be the mainstay of the 12 volt setup we're doing on the D-Max, it will prioritize drawing power from that source before drawing from your alternator or anything like that. So, and you're also getting your smart start technology, which is pretty cool and multiple charging profiles that this will run the battery through as it's charging with your boost, absorption and flow. Red Arc also do the full fuse kit for this particular BCDC. And there's a couple of different versions. You've got your 40 amps for the BCDC 25s and then the 60 amp kit, which is going to go with this guys. These are pretty cool. They're pretty cost effective and I definitely recommend going with this. Obviously you don't have to use this version of the midi fuses, but it's pretty cool because it, it comes with everything you're gonna need when you're installing this. Right down to, you've got a couple of extra fuses. They recommend using the midi fuses. So you've got a really cool holder there that's really high quality even down to the actual battery lugs for your six gauge wire that's recommended for this. It comes with everything you need, right down to the nuts for here's that are even nylocked, which is, I think just uh, is great to see. Good high quality kit. So if we get stuck into what we get, what's in the box, you can see that this version, you can do both versions of the alternator. So if you've got an older school truck that has a, a standard alternator, this will still work. But then if you've got a newer truck that has a variable or a variable voltage or smart alternator, this will also work as well because you've got the extra blue wire that you can use. Here's our stats. So like we were saying there before, we've got the 40 amp version here today that we're going to be using. And there's our FK60, which is our our fuse kit we were just talking about. We have the different battery profiles we talked about. There's our charge profiles, so you can see they're all ready to rock and roll depending on which type of battery that you have. We'll run through that when we're doing the install. And probably other than that, minus 10 to 80 degrees, this thing will protect itself. If it starts getting too hot, it will automatically start reducing charge profiles so not to damage anything, which is pretty cool. And like we were saying there before, it's using our orange wire. That's what's gonna be able to set the different profiles and how we wire that. You can see up the top here, the full wiring video and install video on how to for this unit. So you can check that out. Then we have the unit itself. A couple other things, comes with some heat shrink and the actual crimpers themselves for you to be able to crimp the wire to your wiring for the for the battery and through to your second battery as well. So that, that's pretty awesome. And hey, even, even get yourself a, a little bit of a sticker, which is always cool, we love stickers. And then this is the unit itself. So it is a full hard aluminium anodized unit, which is pretty cool. This is gonna act like a heat sink and you can mount these in your actual engine bay as well. This is gonna be in our battery 
battery box or battery, a battery sort of kit where we're, we're doing our 12 volt setup, the portable unit. So we've got a bit of an indicator display here and here's our different charge profile indicator lights there. So when the thing's plugged in, it will start telling us, well, what's, what's on, what charge profile is active and then our charge status here. And that's telling us whether we're drawing from the vehicle, what stage it's running in, and your, whether it's in flight mode or what have you, but then also if our green power is active, charging from solar. And other than that, it is a fully sealed unit. Inside as well, the actual circuit board and what have you is completely waterproof. So you've probably seen the videos online where they go through a process where they actually cover the whole board to make it nice and waterproof, dustproof, the whole the whole shebang, so pretty cool. And then down the business end is all of our wiring, and you could be able to follow along with the full install video if you're installing one of these yourself, but the, the super quick overview is we have our yellow wire, and that is gonna be for our solar, so that's, you just plug in an unregulated solar, we don't need a separate regulator for this because this guy does everything for us. A black wire is our earth surprise surprise and uh, those ground points got to be gone to a chassis earth so that's pretty pretty sort of straightforward. Our brown one here is what is going to be going to our secondary battery uh, into our lithium in this case but that's the one that connects through to there. You want to use your fuse kit here and one of the MIDI fuses to go between this guy and the second battery. And lucky last is our big six gauge red wire that will go straight through to the engine bay where along with the appropriate sized MIDI fuse will connect into our starter battery. And then other than that, you've only got a couple of little guys and these are kind of your trigger wires. The blue one is gonna be going, well, depends, right? So if you've got a, a, a dumb alternator, the old school alternator where you, it's just running, there's no variable current, let's say. This is not required, you don't have to do anything with it. If you do have a smart alternator where you do have variable current, this needs to go into your, uh, an ignition source. You'll see the install with the DMAX on how we do that one. And lucky last are the green and the orange wire. And these ones are completely to do with the charge profiles. So like I was saying at the head of the video, there's a number of different charge profiles that we can have. And in our case, we're gonna be all over the lithium profile there. So this is sort of how you select it. It's nice and easy for lithium, and you're literally just joining the two, maybe in a little bit more of a, a better way than that, but, but basically you're just joining the green and the orange together, and that tells the unit that, hey, I wanna select the lithium profile, thank you very much, and charge my battery in that way. So, so that's a quick overview, guys, of the Red Arc BCDC 1240D. I've just been able to enable channel membership, so if you're really liking what I do and you're keen to support, check out the join button there for the options there on, on joining, joining the channel, joining membership for the channel to help support bring more of this content out for you guys. And of course, as part of the DMAX build-up series, there's stacks of other content. I think we're up to about 10 videos now on different installs. Really enjoying the series. You can check out the playlist here and here for the different videos that are already out. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up and all of that sort of stuff if that's your style. But as always, guys, I hope that you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.